Hi everyone, uh, this is group four from the T146 Electromechanical Engineering Technician Program, George Brown College. My name is Levente Tulvan. I was the programmer of this uh, project. My name is Salah Hanif and I did the electrical work. Um, my name is Alan Wang and I did the mechanical work. Uh, my name is Young Song. I am a project major. So I support some designing and some operation and I provided every equipment. So um, we designed a mini chocolate factory. Um, all of us was doing the research on it and designed the proposal program. Uh, the whole project is made out of uh, plywood, uh, balsa wood, PVC pipes, and acrylic. And the electrical part, part tell us. Okay. For our electrical part, we have used eight sensors in the whole project. We have used five switches, and for a controller we have used Mega Arduino. So in this project, the way we design all the electrical components and everything, everything is removable. So And the main board is right here. Here is our Mega Arduino. And all the wirings in here and everything is labeled. And everything can be removable from here too. So if something goes wrong, we can always replace it. All right, so now we're going to show the chocolate factory operation. And I'm going to insert first uh, 25 cents. The LED will give back uh, a feedback showing that that sensor worked and sends the coin. I insert a one dollar, which is a bigger size. Two sensors sensed it. And if I insert a two dollar, then all three sensors gives feedback that the sensors were uh, sensing the coin. Now I'm gonna insert one dollar. Let's show you the amount. Uh, the chocolate is 150. So only the cancel button will light up. Anytime you push that, I'm going to move to the coin dispenser and give you out the change. And insert some more coins. Now it's 150. At 150, the other two button lights up, which are the selection buttons. And I will insert some more money so you see how the robot time will be back the change. Now I'm going to uh, select the chocolate. It tells you that almond selected, and then we're gonna go for the almond, pull it out, and then give you back the change. Goes back to initial position, and a new chocolate will come out. And it's gonna tell you thank you and then the welcome message uh, appears again. Uh, we're going to show you now the error recovery. This is a feature where if the robot arm cannot pick up the material, uh, it's going to try to uh, pick it up again. We consider material the two chocolate and the coin, so any of those uh, won't be picked up. The arm goes back, tries it one more time, and then alarm gonna sound second time to pick it up. So we're gonna show it on the coin now. The robot arm puts out the chocolate and then goes for the coin. He's not able to pick the coin, went back one more time, and second time he, he was able to pick the coin. We're going to show you some safety features. Uh, in the two dollars, I select the chocolate and now the safety door will open. So when it's operating, it's, the door is open, it's alarm is sounding, and the alarm is freezing. So if I go back door, it's still sounding. So I should to press reset button. So when I should press reset, it's, it's called back normal operation. Perfect. 
We're gonna show you now how is the emergency button working. I insert two dollar. I select the chocolate, and Taha gonna press the button. The arm freezes, and at the same time, uh, the, there is an error message displayed on the screen. We have a couple of error messages. Uh, if we open the door, then we're gonna have an emergency door open message. If I press the uh, safety button, then you're gonna say emergency shut down because I put the, press the safety uh, button. And also, if I take material away and I try to reset the system, it's gonna say no material present. We have seven different uh, error messages. Uh, this is the three we show now. Now I'm going to show you a couple of features, which is um, the main things features. You have to push two buttons simultaneously, and then you have the service menu with one, two, three, four, five options. The first option, you can move uh, the arm. I'm going to take this away. All right. You move the arm and you show every position one by one. And then now we're going to stop this. It would go through each position one by one. The second option is a work envelope option. So now I select that and it's going to show you how far the robot arm can reach and what it's capable of. The third option will show you a dry cycle. Here the robot arm goes and does what it's supposed to do. It shows you every position and the motion where it does during the process and it's going to keep doing this until you don't cancel the operation all right now i cancel this and the fourth option is a service position so they can actually work on the robot arm Right now I go back to initial position. All right, the fifth menu would be a joystick option uh, where we can hook up a joystick to our project and basically we can operate the robot arm with a joystick.